How's it going? I'm Jason. So I wanted to do a quick update story. Um, I'm nearly at my one year since I had the hair transplant. So I said I wanted to record a video and come on and share my story. I've started to get a lot of messages and inquiries since I kind of posted my uh, transformation picture on Smile Clinic's page. So um, I suppose I'll start with my hair loss started when I was about 26. Um, I did everything in my power with my barber to try uh, hide that fact. I think in Ireland it's very much still a, a subject we don't think of men going bald and do men care. Um, I know there's a lot of men in Ireland that don't care at all, but um, I was one of the few men that in particular really did care. So I did everything in my power and um, to try cover up that I was going bald by bringing one side of my hair forward and trying to gel at one side. Um, I always knew I wanted a hair transplant when um, I realized I was going bald. But I suppose, like a lot of us, uh, I was scared. There's a lot of information out there, misinformation out there. Um, you hear a lot about going abroad to get things like this done. And I suppose part of me was worried it was a scam. So at first I priced things in Ireland and as I'm sure any Irish people watching this video can attest to the prices are just crazy. So I kind of stepped away from it for a while and then there was one day a company from Ireland came up that was promoting bringing people from Ireland across to Istanbul um, to the Smile Clinic. So I linked in with them, had my first conversation with them. At the time, I didn't think my hair was as bad as it was. And then I had to send all my pictures through. And once I sent all my pictures through, like it really hit me just how bad my hair was. Yeah, it kind of knocked my confidence more because I thought the gel and the, the way the barber was cutting it was really covering it, but it wasn't. Um, so anyway, linked up with them, had my first conversation with the doctor on Zoom, was very impressed, so I put down my deposit. I won't lie and say I wasn't still apprehensive. Um, I was still, I know it was an Irish company linked with a different company, but I was still apprehensive that was this the real deal or not. Um, my partner supported me the whole way. She, um, she was backing me and whatever I felt she was gonna go with. So um, eventually anyway, the day came, went, um, traveled across and um, I got off the plane and went down to the pickup part and again I still the whole way thinking is this a scam and I won't lie it was in my head constantly and I think again it was just nervousness I met a lovely Irish company or company couple still in touch with this couple and um, uh, your man was getting it done as well and I kept saying it to them and they were like no no it's grand anyway when we got to the hotel the hotel was beautiful the, the transport there was amazing um, and then pickup was brilliant, got brought to the smile clinic, couldn't get over the building even when we got there, like, um, it was mad. Anyway, the doctors, the nurses, the social media people, everyone met us and were lovely, went through all the ins and outs. Um, I was apprehensive about the, the procedure, I was very nervous about the procedure, I didn't know how it went about things and how it happened. Um, the worst part for me, to be honest, was the anaesthetic, the anaesthetic into the head. Um, Look, it's unpleasant, there's no point lying about that, it's not the best feeling in the world. But, um, bar that and boredom, to be honest, that was the worst part for me. The nurses were lovely, the doctors were lovely, there was people making jokes and stuff. Um, your man, as I said, the Irish guy I met as well, it was, it was great to have that kind of meet him for lunch in between. So, the whole procedure itself was really good, really quick and easy. I uh, went back to the hotel, they explained all the ins and outs, told us to come back the next day, brought us back the next day, did the first wash. And um, luckily mine didn't need that first wash, so they told me how to do it at home. And then yeah, brought us back to the airport. There was another few people in our um, bus limo style thing. And back to the airport, uh, on the plane, home. And that was it, it was that quick, simple and easy. At home, you're a bit nervous, you're nervous you're gonna lose hair and yeah, so um, first 10 to 13 days were a bit rough. You have guidelines to follow, so you're a bit nervous. It doesn't look the best, there's no point in lying about it. Like it doesn't, you've got like a bald head which you've been trying to hide for most of your life. So um, yeah, the washes were nerve wracking. You're scared you're gonna pull out the grafts and stuff. So, but anyway, it, the scabs fell away after I think 10 days for me and the hair started coming through. Uh, at first I was kind of losing hair and which they call it shock loss and um, so I messaged them they explained the whole situation so I just followed the process look again first few weeks you, you don't look like any Brad Pitt but the hair is growing in 
you can see it growing where you didn't have hair before. And then I remember the first day I woke up and I looked at my hair and I was able to put a bit of uh, gel in and comb it. And I thought, Jesus, the difference in me. Um, and then my first real haircut with my barber. And I remember talking to him and he was like, soon enough we'll be able to do actual different hairstyles and different kind of things. And I was like, this is crazy because he was stuck to the same hairstyle with me for, for years. And then every time I went and saw him, he was like, the difference in your hair, I can see it. And I could feel the growth and the thickness coming through. So yeah, like like today, like the difference in my hair, anyone that's interested, I'm sure Smile have the previous, what I look like, but the difference. And the one biggest thing I wasn't expecting to change, it changed my confidence to no end. Like I feel like two different people. Uh, it kind of encouraged me as well. I had a lot of weight to lose and it encouraged me to do that. So within that as well, getting the hair lot or the hair transplant encouraged me to start training and get more confidence in the gym. And I've gone from, 120 kilos I'm down to 88 now and I know that's kind of like a different thing but it, it's cause of the hair transplant the confidence change in me was crazy like the guy that went into that clinic that day his first video was so nervous so shy so self-conscious people probably didn't know I hit it well but yeah I feel like a different person it's funny um I was down in my hometown recently and uh family members walked by me and didn't recognize me I rang my parents, or I didn't know at the time they didn't recognize, but I rang my parents and said, after walking by me, didn't say hi, and they rang, they didn't recognize me. It was like two different people, and everyone I talked to, the hair transplant and the weight loss, it's like night and day, two different Jasons. Yeah, it's it's madness. I couldn't recommend Smile Clinic enough. Um, next time, if I ever have to go back, which they explained this with male pattern baldness, so I bald from front to back. So as much as they push grafts at the back part as well, the potential is I could lose my old hair, my original hair, and have to go back again, which I'm good with, I understand, and I know it's not on Smile, it's on just my natural hair, but I would go back to them in a harpy. I'd go through them on my own, like separate to anything else. I've already recommended it to family, friends. I've had multiple people contact me now. I think six people I've like basically gone over off my recommendations. I could not thank Smile enough, like what they've done what they do is amazing. If you're thinking about getting a hair transplant, Smile Clinic in Istanbul, it's the way forward. Um, they're so kind, caring, professional. I wouldn't go anywhere else. I didn't even look anywhere else afterwards now because just the way they went about things was so good and professional. So yeah, look, I hope my story helps somebody a little bit to get the confidence to just go and do it because it's legit worth it.